We're right. So what I'm going to suggest is that we put you in a pair of glasses. Uh oh. Wait. I'd like you to see Sharon. We're going to put you in a pair of frames. No, I'm not. I think it's going to get you excited about the process. I'm not excited about the process. Nina, if you. I, hey, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Nina, I'm not, if you wear not, glasses, not, you wear glasses. Doing this. Thanks for being patient with him. I'm sorry. No, it's just, my pleasure. just gets Listen, that way. I love my work. And I had an amazing summer. I have nothing to complain about. Mm -hmm. My children are healthy, thank God. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and do I come across patients sometimes that challenge me? Sure. But that's what makes it all worth it, is it? Yeah, there's all kinds of patients. No. Nope. No, you look like a keyboard player or something. <gasps> oh, I just look like a big dork. No, that's really good. You look like a handsome dork. I don't want to be a dork at all, though. No, no, you're wrong. Those glasses look fantastic. Thanks for your opinion, sir, but uh, clearly look like a nerd. <laughs> Hardly. No, those those suit you quite well. See? Yeah. If you don't have a problem with resembling a young Marcello Mastriani, honestly. No, oh, come on. Who's that? He's an actor. Is in a lot of uh, Fellini movies. Eight and a half. The Dolce Vita. Honestly, you should get those. Yeah, I don't know. It's a little disjointed with my, uh, you know, biker thing. Listen, I get it. Okay. Yeah. I was a biker too. <laughs> you? Well, oh. yeah. You can still be a biker on the inside and cut up people for a living. What's your name? Oh, I apologize. Jarvis. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, I'm Lance. These glasses are essential. They're a jumping off point to the next stage in your life. I can show you. Can I borrow him for six hours? All right, I mean, guys will be guys, so. All right, I'll see you later. I think Davidson is overlooked. Yeah, as an essay, as a thinker. That scene where the stroller is falling, De Palma did the same thing in Untouchables. Oh, yeah, you're right. Jarvis and I just went to the Portland Art Museum. We saw this image in Cunningham photography exhibit, and he said it was better than the Eccleston exhibit he'd seen in New York. Ew. Well, and guess what? He invited us to a dinner party at his house this weekend. And like, do we bring food or is he gonna have food? Uh, he said not to bring anything. It's all free? Yeah. Ooh, free dinner. It's delicious, darling. Thank you. And what's the marinade that you used this time? It was grapeseed oil. Mm. I, I was trying something different today. Mm, I can taste that. Mm-hmm. Lance, you enjoying the quinoa? Yeah, I really like it with the uh, the zucchini. Mm, delicious. Yeah. I thought you didn't like zucchini. I, I do like zucchini. You do? One time we were over at the, at the pier and he took off the zucchini off of the sandwich. And then he tried to throw it at these pigeons and this, they couldn't lift it because it was too big. So they were like fighting over it. And they were like, all their wings were like waving around. Oh, no. Oh, it was pickles. Right? You yeah. Threw the, so, yeah, we had pickles. That was when we went to the amusement park. I barfed. Hmm. Anybody join the wait list to, uh, to get the new Tesla battery? Mm -hmm. I saw that. I was, uh, I was thinking about it. Was I know. I'm excited. The batteries I like are the, um, the little square ones, the rectangle ones. Nine volts. Nine volts. Yeah, if you put them all on top of shelf, you can, you, they can look, it can look like a little wall of teeth. In high school, me and my friends, Sissy and Marie, used to have battery fights where we'd throw batteries at each other. And then I thought I had a black eye and I looked in the mirror and it was like, it was like blue. And you know what it was? It was magic marker. One of them threw a magic marker at me. And it drew on your eye? I think what happened is when it hit my face, the, the cap just fell off. It was in the Are you uh, done with your story? Oh yeah. All right, I had wine. You know what I'd love to do? I would love to toast our, our lovely host this evening. Please, allow me. Thank you. To new friends and to old, let us move forward. Let us be bold, for the future belongs to those of us who break the mold. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I didn't get you. I didn't get you. I'm sorry. Um, you didn't make eye contact, Nina. What? It's bad luck if you don't look the person in the eye. So say the French. I don't want to have bad luck. OK. No. Wait, what's the? There's a black cat. Then there's going underneath the... What, what did you tell me? It's a black cat going under a ladder. And what's the other one? Lance? Lance? That was so fun. The house is so big. I feel like I didn't even see all the rooms yet. There's probably all these other rooms upstairs. 
Maybe when we go back, they can give us a tour of the whole place. It was so nice. Do you hear so? What do you mean? We've never been in these people's house, and all you did was tell these asinine stories that had no beginnings and no ends. They were just the middle the entire time. And it's so embarrassing. I don't even know what you were talking about. Pigeons and pickles. I mean- You don't understand the story? Do you remember we were by the pier and we were trying to eat those sandwiches? And then there was, well, I guess I- Please stop talking. You know, sometimes if you just shut up for one second, you would actually understand more about the world. You talk so much that things don't even get into your head. I just really want to be friends with these people. And, and I just want you to not ruin it for me. Please, don't ruin this for me. Okay. I, I mean, you, you get this, right? Yeah, I get it. You made your point. I won't embarrass you anymore. You got it. Do you um, want to play? What is it? Uh, it's chess, one of the greatest board games of, of, of our time. It's a game of strategy and guide, and basically the goal is to take down the other person's king. So that's the king? Yes. You're and, trying to protect him. And what's that? That is the queen. And what's that? That is a bishop. And what are all those? These? Yeah. Trees, leaves, branches made of wood. What's the temperature of the sun? Uh, 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. And like, what's all this? This? Yeah. Um, brass? So you're pretty smart, huh? Yes, I am. I'm what? on my sixth grade chess team, the debate team, I skipped a grade. Mm -hmm. Do you think I'm dumb? Do you know this was grass? I, I did, but I just wanted to get a sense of how okay, grass Okay, okay. Well, then, no, you're not dumb. I don't think so, at least. Well, what would you think about maybe being my tutor? Um, I haven't really tutored anyone before. I've always wanted to, but, um... Who, who are you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Nina. Okay. Nice to meet you. Matthew. Matthew. Now, where do you want to start? If you really want to impress someone, improper fractions is what to do. So this is Wolfgang Mozart. Oh. Scientists don't know how, but the dinosaurs died. A meteor, a flood, nobody knows. So they're all dead. But then, that started the Revolutionary War. Is that the war where they said the British are coming? Yes. And were the British coming? Yes. Where were they going? To take back America and kill. Did they? Yes, lives were lost. Hello, I am Benjamin Franklin. Back then, there was really no electricity. Then one, oh, oh. It's dinner time. Uh, I guess I should go. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Would you um like to stay for dinner? And I figure once I do that, I can get my GED, and then Lance will be impressed with how much I know. And with Matthew's help, I think it'll work. Anyone who's trying to better themselves is okay by me. Well, thank you. Yeah, and you will get your GED. I know you will. Mm, fingers crossed. You know what you should do? Throw a dinner party of your own. A dinner party? Yeah. You can show up all your smarts. So I can like, bring things out and just be like, Oh, hi, do you remember what Truman said? And Lance is going to be so impressed. I can't thank you enough. And you've got to give me these recipes. And I can't even believe like all these things that you made. Well, you ate a lot of it. Yeah, I did. I burped a lot, too. <laughs> I'm known as the queen of the burps. Mm. Friends, guess what? Uh, Tonight, we're having a dinner party. No, we're not. And I invited all your friends. Jarvis is coming. Jenna's coming. Already embarrassing me a little bit. Cocktails are at 7.30, and dinner starts probably at 8 o'clock. Don't be late. Okay. Hearts of heart. <laughs> I just uh, wanted to give you something before I went. Matthew, that's so nice. You didn't have to do that. You've been working so hard. I thought you deserved something. Oh, what is this? It's a dictionary. Basically, every single word in the English language. It's got every single word. Like uh, cabinet or... Carmine, red or purplish red. 
Matthew, this is so thoughtful of you. You're the nicest ever. Yeah, I thought this could help you with the dinner party. You probably know some big words. Now you can show them some big words, too. Good luck with the dinner party, by the way. All right. Cocktail hour. Please join me in the dining room for dinner. You know. Bring your drinks. Magnificent. We are in the provenance of a delightful meal. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> well, I've been reading a whole lot. Got a lot of books on my nightstand. That's great, you know. Terrific. What have you been reading? Where the red fern grows. Hmm. Cried throughout that whole thing. I was really crying. I'm right in the middle of um a Wrinkle in Time. A Wrinkle in Time, I think I read it in, in sixth grade. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, uh, Madeline Langle, right? That's right. She's a real peacenik. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize how substantial her oeuvre is. Hmm. Oh. Her, her what? It's her oeuvre. Right. Hey, I'm gonna get some pepper for the Caesar salad. Oh, let it oh, like Such a substantial body of work. Oh, Madeline Langle. Yeah. You know, Nina, this salad is wonderful, so verdant. Mm. Mm. What, what, what is it? It's delicious and verdant. Oh, verdant, yeah. Um, anyone want wine? <laughs> you okay, Nina? Yes. Yes, I agree, because that's green, and this is green, and this is green, and this is green, which would be verdant. While you were out, I was talking about millennials, and I don't hate them. I just wonder if every generation seems to be more solipsistic than the next mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? Yeah, they're solipsistic. It's like they're, you know, they're with their sisters. You're saying that people who are solipsistic are with their sisters? Yeah, at least assist if they're solemn. You know, if, they're, 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 if they solemnly swear to uphold the laws of the land. Do you not know the meaning of the word? Sol is like salt. No. Millennials are solipsistic. I know what millennials aren't. Well, I'm not saying that they're salty. It's all right if you don't know what the meaning of the word is. I understand it's a, it's a rather abstruse term. Oh, come on. Every word is just more difficult than the next one. I mean, why does dinner have to be a crossword puzzle? that I'll never get. Nina, I apologize. It no, I apologize. I didn't finish high school. I didn't go to college. I'm sorry I'm not like you. And I'm sorry, Lance. I'm trying my best not to embarrass you. You know how far I got in that book that I was telling you about? Page two. And that was hard for me. I've been studying and cramming and like, I'm trying to remember fractions and like the, the capitals of every state. And uh, it's just impossible. Dessert's in the kitchen if you want that. Okay, there's a word I know, dessert. Two syllables. Bye, Lance. Enjoy the rest of your dinner. Good time. Laugh at me. I apologize. No, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know what it was. she's talking about. These numbers and state capitals. Is it, she's like studying. Is it possible she's having an affair? and just say like, oh, Nina, you really tried your best. Or like, wow, you're making an effort. Um, do you like dancing? Yeah, I like dancing a lot. Um, what kind of dancing? You know, this, you know, like <laughs> this kind of thing. And I like this, um, sometimes that kind of dance move. Kind of like sock hop? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like the kind that would be at a sock hop, yeah. That's ironic because my middle school ball is a sock hop theme, so that's kind of cool. And I don't really want to go, but. Everyone's going. I don't want to be left alone. So maybe you can just come with me and we can talk, hang out. Are you trying to ask me to your dance? Y yes. Maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. Matthew, if you can ask a girl to a dance, you got to do it the right way. Nina, will you go to my sixth grade ball with me? Matthew, I would love to go. See? <laughs> Hey, Nina, can we talk? Uh, okay. Uh, what is going on? You just seem, you've been weird. The dinner party was weird. Uh, it seemed fine to me. I really liked it. It was really delicious, wasn't it? Y yeah, but you stormed out of the party. Oh, I did? Okay, I'm sorry. That won't happen again. Are you putting lipstick on? Where are you going? 
Um, just look at some of the buildings and stuff. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. I'll be back in a couple hours, so we could talk then. Okay, Lance? Bye. Bye. Matthew? I'm Lance. Matthew. Script. What is he, 11? I'm 12, actually. Oh, he's pretty smart. He knows a lot. I skipped a grade. I'm on my sixth grade chess team and the debate team. Come on, Nina. I get the point, OK? Let's get out of here. I think I'm happy here. Tonight, Nina is my date. So you better go home before things get ugly. What if I don't want to go home? I'm going to curl up these five fingers and give you another sandwich. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Oh. Ah, that's my kidney. <laughs> They're fighting over me. <laughs> They're fighting over me. Uncle? Uncle. This isn't over. What's everybody looking at? Just dance. Sorry, I've been a jerk. You know, I kind of got mixed up with the bad crowd. I mean, I like those people, but I love you. You're smart, and you're beautiful. And most importantly, you're kind. And you don't have to go take a GED test for me. Well, I kind of did it for me. What do you say we get out of here? <sighs> yeah, that sounds good. You hungry? I'm starving. I'm sorry. Chow you down. I want to tear you open like a bag of chips. I'll make you into a blender and put you on a smoothie. Mm-hmm. Let's go. All right, smarty pants. Who is the 16th president of the United States? There were 16 presidents? I'd love to get you on this chair. Doctor. No, I don't mean it that way. Oh. I mean so I can look down your top. Doctor. No, I don't mean it that way. I mean, so I can see your nipples. Doctor! No, I don't get it that way. <laughs> no, I mean it in the medical way. <laughs> 